All right, so here is the portable capture of the flag station I built for the airsoft park in Seattle. Um, he's asked for a portable uh, station that has a red team, green team capture point, um, has an LED indicator as to which team's currently in control, has audio, uh, which we can customize depending on uh, how we want it to sound off an alarm. Uh, right now he's got it sounded off for five seconds after the, the point has been captured um, to indicate that the station's been captured. Uh, there's acrylic protection shield in front of the LED, the speaker, and the LCD screen, along with a door to protect the keypad from any damage during gameplay. Uh, right now, uh, the capture point uh, captured with these two buttons. So it's got these little plungers on here. So you can push them red, red team, green team, and whatnot. Um, and these are on 10 foot uh, lengths. So they have 10 foot cable length. Uh, you pull the uh, pull pin here. So I got these quick pull pins. And you slide the uh, the capture point off of there. Um, and then you can take this with you up to 10 feet away and mount it anywhere you want. Um, there's a little hook here too, so you can put a nail, you know, like on a, a wall or something, and then put this on the wall. Um, or you can run up and then push the button to capture the point wherever you need it. Or you can put magnets or set it on a, a rock or a ledge or bury it in a tote or something. But um, lots of options. But either way, there's 10 feet, so you can keep each capture point. 10 feet away from the other one, so you can have 20 feet away from each other. Basically, the game point, capture point. Uh, the battery pack, so two different battery options. Um, this is a 12 uh, volt lead acid battery, it's pretty large. You can see it's about the size of the unit here itself. Um, I also made an alternative battery box for small LiPo batteries. So, this is the small battery box with a little door in the front. Uh, and so, you can uh, unhook these two quick clips uh, and then pull the battery off. And then you can put this base station onto the smaller battery box. Uh, and that way you can use a smaller setup and take it with you outside if you're using LiPos. Um, similar to like something smaller like this instead of a large 12 volt battery. Um, but either way, there's three game modes. Uh, domination, uh, Sabotage. Let's see, I'll show you. Domination uh, is uh, the main one. It's like Counter-Strike. So you do Domination, set up the game time. So I'll do like a one minute game time here. Uh, arm time is how long it takes to capture the flag or the station, so I'll just do quick for preview two seconds. Uh, sound is yes or no, so that's if we want to configure the sound customized. Right now, I've just got it to alarm no matter what for five seconds after it's captured, so we'll hear it either way. Uh, but you can have alarm different sound effects and different things. Uh, and then the game starts here. So um, when the game, is, when the station's neutral, it'll be white, and it shows that the indicator, the white indicator there, the LED. Uh, when you go to capture it, so if I capture right now, I'm going to capture green zone. It takes two seconds. You'll hear the alarm here. So five seconds, got the alarm. Um, if you wanted to capture it as well, you can also use this. So if you had it where the station was mounted and you didn't want to use those large buttons to capture, the C button is the green button, the D button is the red button. So same thing as if I'm pushing the red button right now. So to capture the flag, you got to neutralize it. Um, and then you'll see it'll st be a neutral zone. It started to flash red because I held the button longer than two seconds. It starts to auto capture for red. So you see the red capture there when I start to push it. So it's only two seconds, so you see it'll capture it there. Uh, either way, um, when the game ends here, uh, you'll see the game. It'll end. Uh, it'll show you which team held the game the longest or the flag capture the point. So green team won. So the red, held, red team held it for 11 seconds, green team held it for 22 seconds total, uh, and then that, it'll ask you if you want to play again. So it resets. You hit yes or no. It'll check all the same settings or not. So I'm going to hit no. Uh, and so you can see domination, search and destroy, and sabotage the three different game modes we've got programmed into the setup. Uh, when you're done, on off switches here. Just turn it off. Uh, you can unhook the battery like I said. Um, and then you can take the whole base station off and take it with you and attach it to the smaller battery um, or take it wherever you need to. But there's three of them built. There's four total. These are the first prototype already got approved. So these are the three. I've also got a, a setup so that you can use a screw mount here. So you can hang this whole thing off of a, a nail uh, on a building or anywhere you want. It's also got these two um, strap points. So you can attach this to uh, a tree or in front of a car, wherever you want to, um, to make the prop. Um, and you can use it as an arm disarm kind of feature with the seek and destroy. Uh, it turns this into like a counter strike or you got to disarm it. It's not capture the flag, but you got a certain amount of time to come disarm this. Um, otherwise, you know, 
it de- a fake fake uh, detonation, but it you know it, it times out and then your team loses because you didn't get to it in time to, to disarm it. Um, but otherwise, uh, this is the capture flag slash portable game station for airsoft and uh, paintball. Um, and if you got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'll get these sent out to the field that's tags airsoft up in Seattle area. All right, thank you.